Well, hello everyone. Casino Duck here, your wannabe weekend wood worker. We are back with another little project. This one's going to be a duck craft quickie, which is pretty much anything I can get done rather quickly, maybe in a day or just a smaller project. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to be building is a little step stool for my son so he can get up and brush his teeth and then get a drink of water out of the sink or whatnot, whatever he needs. We're gonna be laminating the top of it, so we're cutting out slats here so we can glue them up. Now we're cutting those slats to size. Let's get this puppy glued up. While that dries, let's start working on the legs. Nothing really fancy here at all. Just find center and use a French curve for the layout. I'm going to do one of them and then use that as a template just to cut the other one out. So here we go. You know, on a side note, this little nine inch bandsaw uh, was one of the very first tools that I actually purchased. I still keep it around so I don't have to change out blades on my bigger bandsaw. Well, I didn't account for not having a uh, sanding disc small enough for that curve, so what do we do? We just make it bigger. Well, the top is dry, so let's flatten her out. Well, okay, let's go ahead and move on and make some mortises. And now the tenons. Let's cut them to fit.
Now, here's a step that should have been done before I even cut this puppy out. But when you're working with no plan, kind of shooting from the hip like I am here, you kind of have to do stuff like this. This is the mortise that's going to accept the top cross beam. And more shooting from the hip. I decided halfway through the project to make the bottom cross beam a through mortise and pin it. So here's my contraption to try to uh, make that cut. Just finishing up that tenon on that lower cross beam. Now we're going to round over those tenons so it can fit through that through mortise. Now let's use our sander here to make some pins. Now after dry fitting this thing, I was able to mark exactly where I wanted these holes to go so we could put the pins through. And off to the carved right we go to add that little extra special touch to it. Everybody around here, we all call him Bubba. So that's what we'll do. We'll uh, put his name inside a little circle and add a little extra something to it. Let's go ahead and take the sharp edges off of everything. And it is time for glue up. Let's go ahead and get that done. Well, that should just about do it for this one. As far as finishing goes, we're just going to use a high gloss white paint on it. Well, I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video blog of this little build. And until the next one, we'll see you then. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.